Hello, I'm Ryan Redabaugh. I'm a composer and electronic music producer under the name Redico, based in Los Angeles, California. When it comes to creating soundscapes, my goal and key focus is creating a world of sound and music that transports you, the listener, somewhere. Somewhere other, somewhere inspiring, somewhere disturbing, somewhere fascinating, somewhere adventurous. Something that kind of shakes you up as a listener, something new that maybe your ears haven't heard just yet. That's the kind of music that gets me really excited when I hear it, and that's the kind of music I've been really aiming to create here in my studio when I'm working on a track. Redico started for me as a project because of Bob Ross. <laughs> I heard him talking about painting, about approaching each day's painting in a way of acceptance and allowing what wants to be to be. And I thought, what a great idea. Why not allow music to be the same? Approach music, sit down each day at the keyboard and allow whatever wants to happen, happen. Have an intention, but as far as the track goes, allow the unique creativity of the day and the unique inspiration of the day take shape and form and kind of go with it. Guide it along and further shape it as you go with it, but really give it the freedom and the space to breathe and to be. That's something that's always resonated for me uh, with the Redico work. My first project, Vistas, was a blast to do. The idea being I wanted these to be sonic landscapes, something that takes you somewhere, a place, as if you're a, a character in a video game. The second project that I'm just now releasing is about sonic memories, nostalgic youth, childhood, hearing a track that brings you back to a memory that you had, an experience that lives in you, the little kid that still lives inside of you and giving him voice. It's always fun to kind of come up with a theme and a concept of where these albums want to go, the experience that I want to write towards, and to give you, the listener, an adventure in an arc of a story, and for you to have your own unique experience listening to these soundscapes. With every project, I like to start with a album concept. I have a very strong idea of what I want to write towards, but when it comes to the actual writing, I really leave myself open to what happens in the moment. I'm very improvisational when it comes to music making. I like to start with a very strong idea and be captured by a sound, by a motif right away. And if it is truly of substance, it will surely inspire the next thing and the next and the next. And then I will take it and run with it. And then this whole thing becomes fleshed out in, in what feels to me like very little time because it, it feels like very in the moment and it's a, a blast to do. Once everything is there and captured and the, the creative spirit is there, then I get really adventurous with processing. I like to throw various ideas and plugins at various tracks that will take it somewhere else sonically, that will do something weird or unique to it, that will often inspire the next thing. And it's really just this process of kind of sculpting a, a sonic kind of tapestry through all these weird and unique sounds that these tracks eventually become when they're fully realized. And once the, the tracks are there creatively, then I like to kind of get a little more technical and, and, and then do further sculpting in terms of the mix and the presentation. And the, the goal with these is for them to be immersive. With Redico, it's, it's about adventure, it's about play, it's about fun. I'm having a ball every time I'm writing and I'm always as interested to see what's going to come of every session as the one before. And to me it's just, it is a sense of play. It is it is that little kid in his little spaceship going to the moon and back, coming back with hopefully gold, <laughs> and sharing that off to all his friends at the show and tell. It's it's just a ball and it's, it's fun. It's like no rules and the weirder the better, the more unique and fun and creative the better. So it's it's always a, a fun surprise for me as a creator and I hope for you as a listener. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you being along for the ride and it's it's been a blast and it's something I'm always gonna be writing towards. I'm always excited to create new chapters in this Redico story. So thank you for listening today. I hope this video was interesting to you and a little look inside my creative process when it comes to Redica. Thank you for listening and take care.